Good morning. Welcome to day three of us being in Canada, Delta, British Columbia to be exact. I'm in the hotel room. We just left. Uh, Pete took me to Starbucks and Tim Hortons and I filmed a video comparing the two which will be out in August for National Coffee Month. I'm going to be jacked up on coffee all day today and I'm stuck in a hotel room. <laughs> But that's okay because it's really hot and I'd rather just hang out inside for the, the sake of my little doggo. Sorry about the messy bed there. Um, I went down to the pantry here at the hotel, which is a grab and go service that's complimentary for uh, guests of certain statuses through Marriott. Um, I got a fruit cup. Shorty likes watermelon, so I thought that would be good. We could share that. Then I got a lemon cake and some hard-boiled eggs for later that I could have for lunch. I just ordered room service. I'm getting ham and eggs and some toast. So that should be here about 20 minutes, roughly. I'm really looking forward to that. Having a nice warm breakfast will be really good. 20 minutes later. My room service is here. Ready for the unveiling. Ooh, okay. Not bad. What do you want to do today? <laughs> I think we're just going to relax today. Take it easy. It's going to be really warm. Uh, so I'll, We'll just hang out in the room. I have some editing to do and crocheting. I've been working on a Tron inspired blanket. I'm crocheting a bunch of squares in black and then trimming them in blue. And then once I get enough of the squares done, I'm going to stitch them all together in that same blue. And then it's going to be a blanket for the back of my couch. I love Tron. That's one of my favorite games. Tron Legacy is my favorite movie. And that's some of the things we've been doing while we've been here in Canada is going to see the Tron Legacy filming location. So here's a spoiler. I will have a video coming up soon from the locations that we visited. So well, I'll work on my blanket a little today and just chill. Um, originally we were going to go to the Lynn Canyon suspension bridge after Pete got off of his job site today. Uh, he's doing some more training with the uh, company here. To, uh, it is so hot. We overdid it yesterday when we went to Stanley Park and when I say yesterday I mean the the video previously because I don't know when this is going up I have been daily vlogging while here but still keeping to my regular Monday and Friday 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uploads so it's getting confusing I don't know what day is, <laughs> anything is going up anymore but we overdid it at Stanley Park yesterday it was so warm and we're just feeling it today you could tell Shorty's had it. She's tired. She's worn out. So um, instead of going back uh, across town to the suspension bridge because it's too hot, really, for hiking, we'll do that some other time. I would love to come back up here maybe in the fall or early spring when it's not so stinking hot, and then we could do the suspension bridge. That would be really lovely. I, I do want to see that. Uh, so instead, when we were coming home in yesterday's video, um, we passed by this high school and I instantly recognized it because I'm currently watching the TV show Smallville. I'm a little behind. I know it's been out for years, but I'm finally binge watching it and I'm on the last season and we drove by this high school and I recognized it and I remembered Smallville was filmed in Vancouver, all over Vancouver, Canada. And it was the high school, so we, I got out and did a little pictures and a little video clip in yesterday's video. That got me thinking today, why don't we go see some more Smallville locations? So I'm going to do a little research on the laptop and find a couple more in the area. I know there's two, not too terribly far from where we're currently at, and they're kind of iconic. So I will map that all out, and I think that's what we'll do this afternoon when Pete gets back. We'll just keep it low key and we'll go visit the Smallville locations and then get some dinner and whatever else. But right now, I'm going to eat my breakfast. 
One nap later. We've been taking a nap and it felt awesome. I got up really early this morning to go to Starbucks and Tim Hortons to do the coffee vlog that'll go up in August. Um, even with the two cups of coffee, I am still feeling really tired. It's just the heat. So we took a nap. I, I Before the nap, I edited two videos and I did some research for the Smallville locations that I want to go to this afternoon, evening. Um, and then uh, we had our lunch, which was those hard-boiled eggs and the fruit cup that I showed you earlier. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I, I'm thinking about crocheting, but first I need to take she, yeah, Shorty should go outside and do a little P O T T Y ing. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's let's take her outside real quick, and then I'll come back and we'll crochet. Yes, I'm still waiting for Pete. I haven't heard from him. It's one thirty, and yesterday he didn't get back until almost four. So I'm guessing it'll be about the same before we go out and have an adventure together. So in the meantime, taking the dog out and and we'll do some crocheting. much later. I'm in Surrey, BC and behind me is the Clova Cinema. It's now like a, a church, but in the TV show Smallville, this was the Talon, which was an old movie theater that was turned into a coffee shop that was ran by Lana Lang. And then she um, turned the loft where the projection room was, she turned that into an apartment where she lived for a short while. And then when she moved out, Chloe moved in and then her cousin Lois Lane moved in with her as well. And various characters worked at the Talon throughout the show and including Clark's mom, Martha Kent. Here it is today. So this was the Talon. Peek the camera in. They didn't film inside. That was all on a studio. So it was just the outside exterior shots.
currently on our way to the next destination. It's in Mission, BC. It is called Ruskin Dam. In Smallville, it was called Reeves Dam after Christopher Reeves. I thought that was kind of appropriate as, you know, he was Superman. Um, this was in the episode Prototype, Phantom, and Bizarro. They also used this same dam, I'm not swearing, it's a dam, location for uh, different episodes of The X-Files, MacGyver, Dark Angel, and The Invisible. I'm really excited to see this. Reeves Dam was the location for several important scenes in Season 6 and Season 7. Kara Kent's ship crash-landed in Reeves Dam during the first meteor shower. There was a level 33.1 facility inside of the Reeves Dam. Lex Luthor used the facilities to store a clone of Lana Lang called Model 503. Lex Luthor was trapped with Clark Kent in a series of underground tunnels that led to Reeves Dam. The Phantom Wraith, who becomes Bizarro, first encountered Clark Kent at Reeves Dam. Once he created a physical body by taking a copy of Clark's DNA, Bizarro and Clark fought inside of the dam, eventually destroying it. Kara was in suspended animation inside of the lake in front of the dam for 18 years, until it was destroyed in the fight between Bizarro and Clark Kent. Before Wes Keenan died, he gave Lois Lane some numbers which turned out to be the latitude and longitude coordinates for Reeves Dam. When Lois arrived at the dam, she was confronted by a guard who stabbed her in the stomach. She called Chloe before she passed out, who came to Reeves Dam and used her meteor power to heal Lois. The name Reeves Dam refers to two former Superman actors, Christopher Reeve and George Reeves, stars of the first four Superman movies and Adventures of Superman. We are now on to our next location, which is also going to be our last location for the evening because we're hungry. Uh, we are on our way to Langley, BC to go try to find the Kent farm. This is the farm where Clark Kent lived with his adopted parents, Martha and Jonathan Kent, which was played by... I'm trying to remember his name. From Dukes of Hazards. Oh geez, I'm blanking on his name. What was his name? John Snyder. And uh, Martha Kent was Annette O'Toole. Clark Kent, Tom Welling. It looks just like it did in Smallville. So there's their house and then the barn. pretty awesome to see in person oh my gosh it looks exactly I know I already said this but it looks exactly like it did in the show it hasn't changed it's still the same color and oh my gosh the only thing that's changed was the sign over the driveway it doesn't say Kent it says whatever it said oh I'm so excited <laughs> our next stop is food a lot of boring math later 
We just ordered tacos to be delivered and uh, it's gonna take about an hour for it to all get here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take a shower. So I am gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for joining us for day three of our Canada road trip. I hope you enjoyed the Smallville locations. If you did, don't forget to check the previous vlog where we stopped at the high school, Smallville High, which actually isn't Smallville High. It was Vancouver Technical School, I believe. I don't know, go check that video out if you're a fan. All right, good night. I'll see you in the next one, which will be day four, the road trip back home. Bye guys.